Hi Stampers, this is Kim at Great Inspirations. And today I have two cards to share with you. And inside these cards, there's a little mechanism that helps the designs inside to pop up. So it's kind of a 3D card. And the first one here I'll show you is the little donkey card. I made this card using the Darling Donkey stamp set. There you go, pops up. And then this card I made with the Shark Frenzy dies and stamp set. Here's to you. Happy birthday. There's all kinds of things going on inside this card. Now I just want to share how to make that little mechanism inside. It's very simple and yet it can give your card a really nice wow factor. But first of all, let's take a look at the stamp sets. Here is the Shark Frenzy stamp set, and it has matching dies, 16 dies that cut out the sharks, and also various um, little accessories for your shark, and then there are some bubbles, some seaweed, and ocean waves, or a nice little, not so wavy, ocean wave. But this stamp set is a two-step stampin' set. That means there's the outline image and then there's the filler image. As you can see, I stamped the outline of the shark using the Memento Tuxedo Black. And then I stamped the filling, filled in the color using the other stamp and um, Smoky Slate. Same with the little sharks inside. But what I'm going to show you, like I said, is this mechanism. And as you can see here, there are like two, I call them boxes, little pop-up boxes, to which you can attach um, items that you want to pop up. And then with the little donkey card, as you can see, there's just one little box, one little mechanism that makes it pop up. Let me show you that stamp set for the donkey card. It's the Darling Donkeys, and I made several cards with this set. I think it's just really cute. It is currently in the Celebration Catalog, which means that with a $50 purchase of Stampin' Up! product, you can choose this for free if you so desire. That's now through the end of February. So, let's get busy on the cards and showing you how to make the mechanism. We'll start with this one first. It has the two little boxes. The nice thing about this little pop-up mechanism is for both cards, the cutting is exactly the same. The scoring is just a little bit different. So we'll walk through that. So I have my Stampin' Trimmer and I have the cutting blade, which is the darker one and then the scoring blade, which is the lighter one. And the scoring blade, it just makes um, a little indentation that kind of helps us fold and work with our paper more easily. So, like I said, first we're going to start with the mechanism to allow the two little pop-up boxes. And we need some designer series paper, and I will tell you this is retired, but I just wanted to show you how to do the mechanism. So I thought, oh, that'll be a good way to use up this, some of this um, retired paper that I have. So we're starting with a piece of DSP that is eight inches by five and one quarter inches, scored up in the center at four and folded. And then this is the side that would be a showing in your card. So we're going to open this up and slide this down to one and one half inches. Close it up. And I put a little piece of white cardstock here so I can kind of see where I'm going because we want to go from the fold to one and one half inches. We're going to cut. There it is, one and one half inches. Go back up. Now, just there's we've cut. We're going to flip it right over 
put this right back in here, the folded edge up against here at one and one half inches. Close it, get my little helper here, and cut down to one and one half inches. And that's all there is to the cutting to that. Open this up, and now we're going to be using a scoring blade. Going to, whoops, wrong way. We're going to put this in here with the folded edge going to the left. Put it in at one and one half. And now we're going to use the scoring blade, Get my piece of paper, and again, go to one and one half inches. You might want to do it a couple of times because it needs to get through two layers of the paper. So there you go. Now we'll take this out and again just flip it over. Go to the one and one half inches. And, oops, get that out of the way. Score to one and one half inches. I'll open it up. Turn it this way. And now just pop this up. Pop this up. And fold. There's your mechanism. And this is where you would attach the items that you would like to pop up. And when you go to put it inside your cardstock, fold it down and make sure that this edge bumps right up against the fold of your card. You kind of want to center this in there and then we you just put some adhesive down and then what I do I just kind of hold it in place fold the card and there you go and then you do the exact same thing for the other side Your adhesive. Oops, there we go. Hold it in place. There you have it. There's your pop-up card. And like I said, you would put your little things that you want to pop up right there. Now, I told you that. Um, making the one for the don like the donkey card for the center it, all we're going to do we're going to cut just like we did for this one the scoring will just be a little different so let's bring this cutting this trimmer back in and I have another piece of cards of I'm sorry designer series paper And it's going to be the exact same thing. It's eight inches by five and a quarter, scored and folded at four. I'm going to put it in the trimmer at one and one half. Get this out of the way. I'm going to cut one and one half. You know, I should have told you, don't worry about these measurements. There will be a link down in the description of this video that will take you over to my blog and all the cutting um, measurements and all that are on that blog. So don't you worry too much about that. So now we're going to flip this over, go to one and one half. This paper's almost light enough. I really don't need my little helper here, but we're going to use it anyway. And go down to one and a half. Now we're going to get the scoring blade up there. 
Put this in at one and one half, and now this is where things get a little, oops, let's get that in there, get a little bit different. So we want to score between this cut line and this cut line. So that means we're going to go down and start our, well maybe, let me try that again. We're going to start our scoring at one and one half. Okay? And we're going to go to three and three quarters. So one and one half to three and three quarters. And then back. And that's all there is to that one. So we'll open this up, fold this down just like we did before, but this time we're going to pop this out, fold this down, down, and fold. And there's that pop-up. And just like before, when you put it in your card, it's the exact same process center on the sides. You would put your adhesive, close it up, and there you go. And then you would do the other side just the same way. So there you have it. That's a very easy pop-up mechanism that after, you know, a time or two you get the hang of it, you will be able to change the size of this if you wanted it narrower or wider. And the same with the, with this kind. You can make these narrower or wider with just a little practice and maybe a little math but you know it won't hurt us to do a little math but anyway that is how we make these cute little pop-up cards send to your friends and family especially kids i think kids would get a kick out of these so for more information and like i said for the measurements you can go over to my blog post that's at greatinspirations.blogspot.com, and all the information will be right there. And as I said, that blog um, address will be in the description of this video. I want to thank you so much for joining me today. Until next time, stamp happy!